Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Sanctus Reach. And we right now will go on. I am not certain how, but first of all, I'm gonna take down this guy like so. The question is right now if I move there, I'm not sure whether that is a good idea, but maybe I can even put out some shots and do some backup action. I am not certain whether we... That's a good idea in order, you know, when there are some guys coming. But anyhow, that's for now. Our Terminators, we move up like so in order to get into close combat right here. The thing is, I am not sure what we do here. First of all, I'm gonna kill this guy off, come on, show me, show me the icon, there we are. Down he is, we do the level up, um, cover bonus don't like, plus 20 damage to melee attacks, I love, plus, tw plus 20 combat skill, but I will, first of all, move into close combat, I'm going to be shot at, and the reasoning I'm having here that I'm gonna regenerate my HP right now, like so, so nothing actually happened. And these guys are now maybe be caught in close combat. That would be, of course, oh so amazing on this side. Like I said in the last round, I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna take down these guys because I don't like them because of their flamer template, of course. That is not very nice. The other biker scrot is going to do the same. Shooting at him. At those guys, not at him of course. And then put in some shots into these guys. Because I do not want them to be in close combat with my grey wolves, to be completely honest. Alright, then these guys are going to... The chances to hit are not very high. Are they higher? If I move a little bit back, so 55%, let's take the shots. That was absolutely nothing. And at this guy, okay, I'll shoot at something. No, I only have this shot left here. At least these shots actually hit. These guys are going to move up and pump any everything in this guy. If I can take him down, that would be, of course, quite amazing, because I moved up, that is muy importante as well, but then I can take some shots into these guys, and the level up is not giving me the best of options. Crack grenade, they actually, no, they don't, they have a frag grenade. Then let's give them the crack grenade. Okay, it that I did not, not know that that changes everything up. That's too bad. So my hope here is that I can make them a um, the m take their model down with the two shots we have here. That would be amazing. And his he should be broken. These guys are broken. So one move, actually, they should not be able to do anything. So is my logic right now. I hope that was. I did the right thinking there. Can I? Oh, that would have been great if I could have. If, if, if I would have been able to move there. So now I'm able, and I'll move up like so. Good thing is I think we did good on this side. So everything should now move up. The flamers won't be able to do anything now. But in the end, they should be able. I want, of course, I want to have him there, but maybe... Oh, yes, that's, of course, nice. That won't do much, but maybe a little bit. 64 damage. 14, maybe now a little bit more. That would be great. No, just... But anyhow, in the end, over 100 damage there. I am honestly not certain how I am how I am going to go on here. I of course wanna take down these guys. They are a thorn in my side. And that was 
quite amazing shooting. Did not expect it. That is really nice. So maybe I can take these guys out. That would be quite good as well. They are gone. Now you are going to move, fall back. That is important as well. This land speeder is then going to... Ha I don't want to move him there because I'm afraid he's going to be shot at. So I'm or engaged in close combat. Let's say it like that. Moving him here. And let's see what we can do against these guys. That was quite... A good shooting. So right, that was of course not very good. What is the best idea? Close combat, very high against medium, but the damage we receive could be quite high. No, it was ah, uh, it is quite high. So 60 against 100. That was not good, of course. Of course, would would be absolutely amazing here if if the flamer guys could finally move up here. That would, I think, give us the edge, and that would be oh so amazing. These guys move there, shoot him in the back. Man, they can't even take the screamers down. I should have engaged in close combat, I guess. Little mistake there, but I want to finish them off. And then, whoa, there I did not expect 100 damage, nice. Let's see what these guys can do, maybe 100 again. 124, so that was good. So we didn't have the right angle on the plot letters there. Shame on me. On this side, how do I go on against the horrors? Which would be nice as well to have them actually cut down. Like so, that was nice shooting. So only one scrot remains. That is amazing. Ah, damn it, there I did a very tactical mistake. I should have moved them, shot at him there. So I wasted a couple of rounds. That of course is not very nice. But that happens if you don't look correctly. So I hope I don't shoot my Blood, and not my blood, it was my blood gloss. No, I did not. That's nice. And we at least did a tiny little bit of damage around 100 there, which is alright for me right now. If I aim here, I won't be able to shoot anything there. Alright, accept it. So, some frag grenades would be. Oh, I can only shoot crack missiles. Alright. I had to hope at least to hit one. But no. Maybe these guys can do... No. Alright. So another wasted turn for them. Anyhow. So if I'm lucky I hit. If I'm unlucky I think I hit my own. But nothing actually hit. Too bad. So I of course hope nothing is going to come here in the end. That would be a little unlucky. Moving some close combat units up them. Oh, I thought I would already have moved them. But of course, no. Alright, that should be nearly it for our turn. Um, the angle ain't good. The angle ain't good. But we did tiny amounts of damage. Fair enough. Which unit did it select now? Oh, I still have these guys available. Then we use them. I think the angle, no, that was fair enough. 150 against 87, that was good. That was a nice blow. So, not too chevy actually. That is what I like right now. Of course, the next round is going to be hell on earth here. It is going to be hell on earth. Alright. You did everything you can. And that was it. So guys, let's then move in the chaos turn. 
and I'm afraid what is going to happen. I'm really afraid. So the firing there with the flamers was maybe a mistake. I thought they were broken. That of course is too bad. So let's see. I have, I'm as I said before, I'm really a little afraid, but anyhow. Because there are quite a lot of enemy forces still on the field. And I wasted my flamers there. That was a really bad tactical move of mine. I give you that, guys. But maybe they, my bikers hit good back in close combat. Nah, that could have gone better. I hope that we are going to survive this close combat round. I have to say, I am not calling it unfair. I would never would do that. But you have to say, there are a ton load of blood letters. That is a little crazy. Let's see how we deal. Good thing is we have a couple of Terminator Scrot at our disposal. That of course is very, very nice. That's the reason I only took the Blood Claws because we had some points at our disposal. Never my um, the choice I would like to make because I don't really like them. They are very, very squishy and that is what I do not like about them. But they did more damage already than I had expected them to do. And if I can't get any help in here in form of Terminators, Ragnar is going to be wrecked the next round. That is the huge problem we are facing on this side. But on the other hand, I hope that in our next turn we can get in some really nice retaliation fire. So the plan... Oh crap, that was of course a ton load of damage. Did you see that they did over 300 damage and even disabled its void shields, although the chance of that to come in is only at a 30%. But I have two close combat units up here. That is nice, so I think I'm only thinking that I'm going to use the Terminators to go up uh, to the way to Ragnar. And the Wolf Riders are down there as well, I think. They are going... No, I need to be careful. Of course, they have taken quite a lot of victory points off us. That is not nice as well. Maybe it even was a little mistake to move out a little bit like I did. But there was just open space. So priority next round is take back victory points. That really is a major priority. And I think one thing to do is I am glad that my cybot or dreadnought, sorry, is in close on that side in close combat. That we have to deal with all the enemy as soon as possible because Enemy reinforcements, of course, are going to get in as well. This is always what, what I think is quite funny in this game, that you always think, this turn was very good for me. Um, we killed a lot of enemy units, but in the end, the next turn of the enemy, you are in a world of hurt. Anyhow, guys, that already brings us again to the end of this episode. And as usual, I really thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode, then please, guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And, well, I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.